Hi gang, Chris Angel, coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. And um, I want to expand on my post from this morning. Uh, in this video, we're calling it Putting the Cart Before the Horse. But this morning, I think I described it as uh, when you're building your business, um, I don't even remember how I said it this morning, but you have to build your business around the conversation you want to lead. There you go. That's the bottom line. You can hang up. You don't have to watch any more of this video. That's the bottom line. But if you'd like me to explain that more, stick around because I want to dive into that. So the uh, what happened for me starting out in business was I, I at the age of 24, I had read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And uh, I thought, okay, I can go make lots of money. I can retire young, retire rich. I can have all sorts of investment. Like, listen, the whole reason I got into business was for me. I got into business for me. Money, lifestyle, freedom. And this is, I think this is by far why most people go into business for themselves. Right? You'll hear success stories, and rightfully so, because I think this is how success happens. You'll hear success stories of people who got into business to solve an actual problem. But most business people, solopreneurs, etc., get into business because we like the idea that we could be free. Now, of course we want to help people, of course. But that's but it does most of us didn't start in business with like a I'm going this is the conversation I want to lead in the world. We get into business with like a I want freedom, autonomy, flexibility, lifestyle, all that stuff. And that, friends, is the cart before the horse. When you get into business for your lifestyle and for income, that is putting the cart before the horse. Here's how this um, shows up. I mean, I think in my post this morning, I, I described it as a black hole, right? Like the pattern I was in for 17 years was trying to, um, well, let me just explain how it happened, how it unfolded, right? I got into business for myself, for freedom, flexibility, finances, lifestyle, all that stuff. And then I didn't know what I didn't know about business. So then I started off learning about business because I needed to know how to play the game of business in order to make a business work. So I went down that road and, and fast forward now, 17 years later, I had spent all this time figuring out uh, stuff about business and having no clue the conversation I wanted to lead in the world. And so when I went to market myself and my business, I couldn't find my message. I couldn't find myself because I hadn't spent any time in 17 years getting any clearer about what conversation I wanted to lead. My entire relationship with business for 17 years was prospecting and marketing and servicing and systems and just all the stuff that most people teach in business. Nobody was teaching me how to find the message that I wanted to lead in the world. So 17 years into business, I felt lost. Like I knew a lot about business. I had a lot of experience, but nothing felt like me. And when nothing feels like you, all of a sudden you don't feel like you're any good at business. Now I feel like I had, like I said, I had developed skills of, I mean, of course you're going to develop skills after being in business for 17 years, of course. But that didn't make me feel any better about knowing who I was in business. 17 years in, because I wasn't clear about the conversation I was leading. I had a Facebook message, a uh, private message with a, an, uh, a friend and acquaintance today. He's been to some of my classes before. And the, he's in limbo. If you saw my video the other day, he messaged me and said, I'm in limbo. And I want to get out of limbo. And I'd like to take your six week course. And um, so I just started asking him some questions like, what conversation do you want to lead in the world? And he said, I don't know. I have several different things I'm, that, that are important to me. And I said, uh, who do you want to serve? And he's like, I don't know. I have different people I could serve. And there was this all this confusion, which I totally recognized from my own journey. So this is not uncommon for him. And, But there's all this confusion about what he what he wants to do and who he wants to serve and what he's good at and all that. 
And then, so as I went down the road of like getting him clear around what he's good at and who we want to serve, he came back with, I don't know how to monetize it. And this is what sparked that this entire thread of conversation, right? This is what sparked this entire uh, thread today around this topic, because we always want to know how to monetize stuff before we even know what conversation we want to lead. And what I'm saying is you can't, I don't care how you monetize it. I don't care anything about monetizing. In order for your business to feel like it's a reflection of you and for you to feel good in your skin about who you are and for marketing to come freely and easily and flow from your mouth, you have to know what conversation you're leading in the world. So if we were going to reverse my life back to the beginning of my business years at the age of 24, what I would do different is I would get clear about the conversation I want to lead in the world. Now, it's, that's a little funny, right? Because at the age of 24, uh, I don't think you know your ass from a hole in the ground. So at the age of 24, um, as best I could, I would, have start, I would have started to find what wisdom life had given me and who could I help, who could I share that wisdom with? And it may have looked like it, and I probably would not have ended up in real estate, frankly. Because real estate wasn't about that. I've always been who I am. I've always wanted to make an impact for people. I've always wanted to inspire people. Ever since high school and college, I've always been leading people. How weird, what a detour to go into real estate. If, if somebody had been able to guide me and direct me towards the, the things I was passionate about speaking about, it would have always been about personal development. It would have always been about a spiritual conversation towards who we really are as human beings and what our passions are. When you start there, now you have the energy, you have the uh, capacity to go the distance in business and you can find any number of ways to monetize your business. Guys, the issue isn't monetizing. There's all sorts of ways to monetize things. The issue is attention. If you don't have attention, because the message that you share in your marketing it, that has no conviction, it doesn't matter how many ways you've planned to monetize something, nobody is going to buy. You have to have attention. And attention comes from conviction. So you can see the place to start business isn't from a, let's think about all the buffet options I have in business of what can be the best monetizing strategy. No, the, that's the cart before the horse. The issue is, what could you talk about on a daily basis and never get tired of? Now, go down that road and think, who could I, what am I, inside of that conversation, what am I really good at? What am I best in the world at? What do I count on myself for? And how can I take that paired with the passion and now let me find the right people to do that with and now we can start to figure out wh what those people would pay you for. That's the monetizing. But you sit back here and like whiteboard monetizing strategies and that's what I did. And I'm telling you that is setting you up for, su for, not for success, that's setting you up for failure. because you will always be detached from your very own business. You'll never have the heartbeat of your own business. And you'll never earn the attention, because of that, you'll never earn the attention of the people you're trying to serve who won't pay you because you haven't earned their attention. So, I'm not sure where you are. If you're in limbo, um, maybe you're coming out of limbo. Wherever you are, here's what you've got to get. Like, you need to go figure out the conversation you want to lead in the world because that is the foundation. And from that place, you can begin to look at how to monetize. And here's the good news for you. You'll find multiple ways. In the past, if you had just done it where I'm going to start this business and like I'm going to be a real estate agent and I'm going to make money selling houses, then there's only one way you make money. But if you have a conversation to lead and you go invest in marketing to build that tribe and that that and you lead that conversation then there are multiple ways you can monetize that attention so
There you have it, gang. Here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to, in the comments, tell me what you, what are you hearing in this? I'd like to hear what you're hearing from this. And if you're ready to get off the fence, <laughs> as Andrea says, right? If your ass is uh, hurting from sitting on the fence <laughs> of your business, uh, then, then you can, st I have some relief for you, right? I have some, some, uh, some relief for you. And uh, I recommend you go take my free course called uh, Marketing for the Rest of Us. You can get it at groundswellmethod.com. It's free. It's 90, just over 90 minutes, over five videos. And it actually starts to move your mind towards this very conversation, the pillar, the foundation of your marketing and where your mind needs to go if you're going to be successful in the game called business. And it's free. 90 minutes, five videos, groundswellmethod.com. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us.